We all want to be the best version of ourselves. I know that it's so tiring just watching videos like this, not getting the answer, everyone repeating the same thing, and just not actually sharing the secret sauce with you. And I'm about to be literally bringing you the recipe to change your life, to become the highest version of yourself, and I'll be delivering the ingredients as well. So I'm telling you the recipe and I'm bringing the ingredients. So all you have to do is just literally cook. So bring your tea or cafe and have a notepad because what I'm about to share right now, like I'm not even kidding, it's gonna change your reality. If what I'm about to share with you does not work for you, that just means that you're not interested in becoming the highest version of yourself. You're just watching these kind of videos and you're literally wasting your time. You're wasting your life away. And I would not want that for anyone. I am a mother of two kids and I would not want them to be wasting their life away. I want you guys to take this advice, note it down and actually take actions this time. Enough is enough and please. So I'll have five chapters and going through exactly what we need to do in order to achieve our dream life and dream self. So in each chapter, we'll be discussing exactly what steps we need to take in order to achieve and conquer that topic. And once we're able to get the foundation of all of this, guys, like I promise that you're gonna make a difference in your life. So let's get right into chapter number one, which is energy. This is a little like science recap that we'll be doing. So in science, we learned that every Everything is made up of atoms, including us, including the chair that we sit on, including the table. Everything in this world is made up of atoms, right? So in quantum field theory, we have the atoms, which is the building blocks of life. Atoms have at the core the protons and then around that orbitals, electrons. We need extra energy to move from one orbital to another. Just like the orbitals, it has different quantum level. And similarly, we have different realities in life. This is called quantum quantum jump. So similarly, we have different realities in life that are coexisting. And in order to change our reality, we need energy to move on to the next reality, like make the new reality come true. Our thoughts, you know how we say like, it's all about frequency. So our thoughts are frequency. Our thoughts are waves. Our thoughts are energy. What does that mean? That means like if we change our thoughts, we can use that energy to change our reality. We need to understand this. It's pretty interesting like if we understand guys like this can really be life-changing because just imagine right in order to move the electron from one quantum level to another we require energy we require frequency which comes in the form of light electron can go from one quantum level to another and it can jump from one quantum level to another similarly we have in life different realities if we give it energy we can go into the different reality is a the theory here and it's so interesting interesting because if you really believe and if you do this you can actually change your life grade at a different level raise your frequency align with your goals or whatever you may have heard of so many things and it's basically this it's like you know we need to give the right things energy so we can change our reality now we just need to understand you don't need to know any science behind this we don't need to know anything we just need to know that in science in order to move the electron from one orbital to another we need energy similarly in order to move ourselves from one reality to another reality, we need energy. Energy comes in form of frequency, in form of thoughts. Our thoughts are energy. So we just need to understand this part and then we can move on to the next point. So this is getting very interesting. Like I hope that you're as excited as I am making this. So the next point in our chapter one is basically understanding that there are three consciousness that we have. One is our conscious self that we have control over. Then and there's subconscious self and I'm sure we've heard of this right like we know what is subconscious and we know what's conscious self and in the middle is your ego so it's not the regular ego when we say something and people are like oh you know you have a lot of ego no this is a different kind of ego because this is like a protector it's like a little baby that wants to protect us it wants to keep us safe right so this is our ego in the middle of our conscious self and subconscious self and we all know that our subconscious mind actually controls it's a super computer. This controls our reality, our world and everything else. It's a supercomputer. Once we give it like the direction, this would work day and night to create that reality. But in the middle, we're always met with ego and ego pushes us away. It's like, no, like I want to protect myself. And this is why it's not easy to reach subconscious mind. So this is the number two. It's like, we need to understand that 
there is ego in between and it's like a protective layer to get into subconscious mind number three and understanding energy so we've heard so many times like oh you know align yourself with the goals align yourself like how do you align yourself nobody tells us that but the thing is it's so easy i'll tell you so basically this ego if we think of it like a baby we need to keep it basically like we need to have it lower down its guard it's protecting and guarding the subconscious mind we need to have it lower down the guard and how do we do that is by being grateful and happy basically having our thoughts our frequency always at the higher level and let me show you guys this chart and basically if you really take a look these are our frequency the lowest one you can see like the anger the shame and this is the lowest when we're shaming someone and when we're angry at someone our frequency goes down so in order to always reach the subconscious mind we may have heard like be thankful but why are we being thankful it's because so that we can evoke an emotion in the subconscious mind so it wakes up and works the supercomputer works for us to make the reality happen this is why they say you're like average of five people that you surround yourself with because their frequency can rub off on you if you're vibrating at a lower level then you will never be able to reach the subconscious mind so how do we align ourselves and how do we let the ego lower down its guard is by being always happy and thankful and grateful and joyful positive and being always trying to be on the higher level of frequency and if you meet someone and if you had a meeting or a coffee with someone and they leave you at the lower level of frequency do not hang out with them the next time like i'm not even kidding like you cannot waste your precious life and people that don't understand that they literally got all the energy out of you and they left you feeling so low so even if it's your mom even if it's your sister if it's your teacher friend father bestest friend there's two things two ways to go about this right once you tell them if you love them so much and you love their company then just let them know you have two options you either change your frequency or i'm gonna actually have to leave you because i have a goal to achieve and if they really like you back they're gonna try to meet you at the higher level and if they don't then you have your answer like let them out so this leads us to chapter number two messenger chapter number two is my favorite because you actually get to really imagine so number one in this chapter is go somewhere really relaxing and quiet and peaceful and close your eyes and imagine imagine the kind of person you want to be the dream self the highest self what's the kind of version are you wanting to be because we all know that the realities already exist which person do you want to become what kind of place are you living in what kind of person is she or he how do they smell what kind of hairstyle do they have what kind of place do they live in what kind of car do they drive what kind of income do they have what kind of level are they when it comes to their fitness what kind of health do they have so in life we really need to have a clear vision of where we're going for example if we have the best airplane the newest technology that we have and best pilot in there but if it doesn't know where it's going it would be just going round and round and round and round and round and round and, round and then crash one day because it doesn't know where it's going like our life we need to know and have a purpose in life like we need to have clear vision of which destination am i going to and then this is how we can fly there right so exactly the same way we need to know what kind of person do we want to become and then feel it to the core like if someone asks like what's your dream self's phone password then you would know oh you know that self the best self in the future of course like you know she likes fitness so i'm sure it must be something around fitness that her password should be this because i know that person right we all know deep inside we all know what we need to be doing and what kind of person we are we need to accept it it's okay even if it's outrageous it's okay because life is to be enjoyed according to your standards so it doesn't matter if someone shames you because remember the frequency of shaming is like literally at the lowest level people who are in this frequency are not happy we don't need to listen to them listen to yourself tip number two is notice how you feel about this remember the feeling of how you're feeling and then note this down into your laptop into your note a pad or in your book whatever it is just note it down because once we write it down i can promise you it really happens right so write down everything to the t you know i am this person that makes this amount of money i am this person who has this kind of relationship with my children with my husband if 
you don't have a partner and that's what you want to attract then say like you know I am a wonderful wife or husband that has a wonderful partner like say it in I am phrases it's like literally identity shifting we need to say I am a fit person and because of that I'm able to play with my kids better I'm able to spend more time with my family I need you to write down like every day sit down and then basically journaling but in a I am form it's like I am doing this I am so thankful and in order to bring your frequency high every day we just need to sit down and say I am this this kind of person and I am so thankful that all my loved ones are healthy and happy I am blah 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 I am I am I am every morning you wake up every time you feel lost or you feel worried we need to just type it out you don't need to know how it's gonna happen you just need to know where you're going and who you are and then if you can't imagine right like you're so blocked because of some reason you can't imagine like where you want to go then I want you to take this time feel creative go on Pinterest or social media that the people that you watch or follow and you love people who make you feel good on social media or Pinterest like find out what you like because once we evoke the emotions we'll know what we're looking for in life so this leads me to chapter number three which is being Delulu is the Salulu okay this is funny but basically being delusional is the solution so number one in this chapter is act as if you already have it feel the feeling of having it having that lifestyle having that fitness having that abs those thigh muscles those strength to be able to do certain things with your fitness how would you behave when you have that fit body like imagine for a second close your eyes and then think like oh you know like I am so fit what am I doing every day like am I sitting down super late at night and eating like three burgers just because I'm stressed out or I'm hungry or I was craving it or does that fit version of yourself have a healthy eating routine or does that fit version of yourself respect you and eats healthy and makes better choices like you just need to know close your eyes and think like how would I react how would I go about my day and this will be your map because you know once you have the feelings of feeling good now you've lowered down your ego and then you've let those emotions go into to your subconscious mind which is our supercomputer and now like when you close and you feel how you're gonna feel and you know like kind of imagining how that person would act in a day now you're giving yourself the recipe and the ingredients the recipe was chapter number one and chapter number two the chapter number three is the ingredients you're giving yourself the map because once you close your eyes and imagine how would that fit person be going about their day you now know what you need to do let's say your goal is to have the best career and making the best kind of money then you would know that successful version what would they be doing what would she be doing what would he be doing like how many clients would he be meeting like we would know the path we all know like I said earlier we all know what we need to be doing but this makes it all clear and number two in this chapter is basically realizing when we attract certain things in life it's not because what we do it's because who we are being it's about who we are we need to change our identity to the other person that we're wanting to become we just need to realize this and chapter number four is basically staying consistent everyone can just do things for like two days three days four days but staying consistent is the key like every day working on yourself like always trying to make the frequency higher always spotting the right things like, oh you know I'm doing this wrong like my best version would never do this always spotting yourself and kind of like picking up and being kind to yourself is also the key in order to like stay consistent but if we're excited to go somewhere like that goal then consistency comes naturally but always making sure that you're staying consistent by tapping into looking back and seeing like how this day could have gone differently and this is how we can stay consistent so in life we don't attract good things just in two days or three days or three weeks we attract good things by just playing the long-term game and if you don't have the patience to wait like however long it takes then we need to work on that but if you do and you're willing to wait as long as it takes and you're being that person that would have those things that you want or the results that you want then you will attract and magnetize everything you desire a fit body your money goals best relationships and your best health everything that you desire can come as long as you're willing to wait as long as it takes being that version 
By the way, I've been drinking saffron latte and it's so good for you. I was just drinking it for the taste and I was kind of avoiding like coffee for a second because I was getting heartburn. But oh my God, I did some research and saffron is so good for like depression and like mood swings and hormone balancing and whatnot. So like, it's amazing. Go and try it, it's so good for your mental health. Mm, I love the fragrance. So chapter number five is accountability. So now you can have a friend that is always vibrating at a higher frequency. That's a good accountability partner. And you can come back to this video and then type, oh, you know, it's been three months. Oh my God, my life has changed. Or, you know, like just knowing that I'm here for you and our community is here for you to see and keeping you accountable. Like how did it go? So come back to this maybe three months later or like a year later and please let me know how it worked for you because it will work for you. If you take the recipe and the ingredients and you work on it and take your time and cook together, you're gonna create the best meal. So I gave you this recipe and ingredient. Now it's your time to cook. Please cook for it. Now cook. Go ahead and achieve that goal. Go ahead and live that life. You deserve to live a good life. If there's someone belittling you and telling you, oh, you know, that would never work out. Like, what are you doing? Go back to study or, you know, go back to your nine to five or whatever. They are vibrating at a lower frequency. This frequency thing, guys, it's like such an easy way of seeing what's right and what's wrong. If someone's shaming you or being mad at you and this and that, if someone's on the lower end, we just don't deal with them. And and if you struggle with discipline, then I made a video specifically to that and you can watch that next. So with that, I wanna tell you, I am here for you. And if you need anything, comment down below. What's your goal? Like stop being ashamed of your goals and write it down below. What are you looking to get and achieve in 2024? We'll all keep each other accountable and see who really stuck out with this. It's so crazy to see how easily you can change your reality. And if you like this video, then please subscribe down below. Don't don't forget to like because it helps out a lot. And with that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.